Russian state media has reported that jailed Wall Street Journal correspondent Evan Gershkovich has been formally charged with espionage, an allegation that the journal and the U.S. government vehemently deny. The charge of espionage is ridiculous. His detention is the first case of an American journalist arrested by Moscow on allegations of spying since the Cold War, and has prompted a growing list of individuals, organizations, and government officials to call for his release. On March 29th, while on a reporting trip, Gershkovich was detained in the city of Yekaterinburg, around 800 miles east of Moscow, by Russia's main security agency. On March 30th, Gershkovich was seen being escorted into a vehicle after appearing in a Moscow court. The press service of the court said he was ordered to be held in custody until May 29th, according to state news agency TASS. Russia's Federal Security Bureau said Gershkovich, acting on the instructions of the American side, collected information constituting a state secret about the activities of one of the enterprises of the Russian military industrial complex. The journal said it vehemently denies the allegations from the FSB and seeks the immediate release of our trusted and dedicated reporter, Evan Gershkovich. We stand in solidarity with Evan and his family. The arrest of the 31-year-old reporter marked the latest diplomatic flashpoint between Moscow and Washington. The targeting of American citizens by Russian government is unacceptable. We condemn the detention of Mr. Gershkovich in the strongest, in the strongest terms. We also condemn the Russian government's continued targeting and repression of journalists. On March 31st, President Biden urged Russia to release Gershkovich. What's your message for Russia right now as they're detaining this, to, to Russia as they're detaining this Wall Street Journal reporter? Let him go. We're in process. Gershkovich was accredited to work as a journalist in Russia by the country's foreign ministry at the time of his detention. Biden said the U.S. didn't plan any expulsion of Russian journalists or diplomats in response. That's not the plan right now. Wall Street Journal editor-in-chief Emma Tucker spoke to CNN's Anderson Cooper about Gershkovich's detainment and the charges against him. It's utter, it's utter rubbish. Um, Evan was doing what reporters do and what he did very well. He was out there gathering news, uh, talking to people, reporting, providing an eyewitness account of what's going on inside Russia. Speaking at a news conference on April 3rd, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Gershkovich's arrest was of great concern. It is important to respect freedom of the press, the rights of journalists, uh, um, and the rights to ask uh, questions and to do their uh, job. So therefore, we call on his uh, immediate uh, release. At the United Nations, Russia's ambassador declined to discuss Gershkovich's case in any detail citing what he referred to as the separation of powers in the Russian justice system. Today, uh, Secretary Blinken talked to Minister Lavrov uh, on that issue. Uh, but uh, that will be decided uh, not by Minister Lavrov or, or Secretary Blinken, but by, by uh, investigation and by the evidence that the investigation could provide uh, for the court. Good afternoon, everybody. On April 4th, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said the U.S. will continue pressing for his release and seek consular access to him. Uh, Evan is not a spy. Evan has never been a spy. Evan has never worked for the U.S. government. That same day, Gershkovich's lawyers met with him in prison and reported that Evan's health is good and he is grateful for the outpouring of support from around the world. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on April 5th that the State Department's process to reach an official wrongfully detained determination was pending. In my own mind, there's no doubt that he's being wrongfully detained uh, by Russia, which is exactly what I said to Foreign Minister Lavrov when I spoke to him uh, over the weekend and uh, insisted that uh, Evan be released immediately. Um, but I want to make sure that, as always, because there is a formal process, that we go through it, and we will, and I expect that to be, uh, to be completed soon. On April 6th, a Moscow court said that it would hear an appeal from Gershkovich's lawyers on April 18th. The court could uphold his continued detention, order him moved to another jail, allow him house arrest, or grant him bail.